Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of The Valder Beebe Show, a new kind of spiritual talk show. Broadcast on FM radio, internet websites, and print publications. I am well known for that celebrity interview. Interviews that we conduct in studio, by telephone, and by satellite with today's most fascinating people. I'm Valder Beebe, and I'll see you on ValderBeebeShow.com. Good morning, Gotham Troper. Thank you for joining me here in Dallas, Texas, live on the Valder BB Show. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Thank you so much for having me. Well, you got a documentary that you're talking about the religion of sports. Uh, I thought that was a very interesting title. Tell me what it's going to be about. Well, you know, I think any sports fan, especially, you know, where you are in Dallas, Texas, understands that sports is a religion. You know, everything that we associate with spiritual traditions, wisdom traditions, uh, the pilgrimages we go on, becoming part of something greater than yourself, curses, superstitions, these exist in sports. Um, people go to Texas Stadium or, or um, you know, because it's a pilgrimage, pilgrimage site. Uh, miracles happen there. Um, so sports, you know, it's not just a metaphor. Sports is a religion. People feel it. Okay. So I'd like to let my audience know I'm speaking with Gotham Chopra today. He, yes, he is the son of Deepak Chopra, so maybe that's why you hear the aura in his voice. But I was really interested. You have some very interesting producing partners. I do. Um, so, you know, two of my executive producers are Michael Strahan, the Hall of Fame uh, football player, former New York Giants, and Tom Brady, the current, I would say, Hall of Fame uh, football player for the New England Patriots. Uh, I grew up in Boston, Massachusetts, so Tom uh, is a living demigod. Um, Michael is somebody who has, you know, caused a lot of harm and, and tragedy in my life, but I've grown to appreciate him, and they've both been great uh, partners in this, in this project. What are you thinking that people are going to em learn or embrace from religion of sports? What's there for them? Well, you know, sports is a religion because it offers people meaning, purpose, and significance in their lives the same way uh, religion does. Um, you know, you see it. You become part of something, a community. It provides a sense of belonging. And this is both for the athletes but also the fans. Um, anybody who is a Cowboys fan understands what it means to be part of a living, breathing mythology. And so I think what we're trying to do is find those stories all across the sports spectrum and, and literally all across the world and sometimes it's the biggest sports European soccer sometimes it's tiny little niche regional sports um, that people derive a, a great sense of purpose from and and that's what the series really explores okay well let's go a little bit deeper in a sense we don't have a lot of time but I was reading the statistics church attendance is down church giving is down church membership is down but sports membership is up what's going on there well, look, I, I think it's an interesting time we live in, you know, and yes, traditional, you know, people's attendance to traditional institutions of faith is going down, and yet we're looking for meaning and purpose in our lives more than ever. We live in a truly globalized world, so I think we're finding it in these different places, and I think sports, you know, there's never been more money. It's, it's broadcast on all sorts of, um, uh, you know, on digital television, all that sort of stuff. Attendance is up. So we're finding that sense of belonging in other areas. And I think the great thing about sports is that, you know, all that's required is attendance. You don't have to, quote, believe in it. You don't have to buy into the dogma of it. You have to show up. And, you know, in general, and it's not just at these biggest, you know, institutions. It's like you can go to the local dirt track um, to watch a stock car race and you can touch and feel and be a part of it. So I think, you know, that's the great thing about sports. You just have to show up, and miracles will happen. I want to thank you so much, Gotham, because we would need a lot more time to talk about the Cowboys and how it's a religion or how football is a religion in Texas. 
it is truly a religion before it even became a popular saying or probably before you did your movie. <laughs> when can we see the religion of sports? Um, we're premiering tomorrow night on DirecTV. That's channel 239. It's, it's 8 o'clock Eastern and Pacific. Um, it's also on AT&T AT &T UVerse, um, which is channel 1114. So I hope everyone watches. The Religion of Sports with Gotham Chopra and his great producers. I want to thank you so very much, Gotham. Thank you very much for being who you are and doing what you do. Thanks so much for having me.